and forth, but she's on the phone and she's actually going to ask you the questions. Oh, but okay. when, you, when you answer, you just look at look me. Look at you. Correct. His entry into that home appeared to be premeditated uh, prior to that day. Uh, but as far as how long he had been planning it and that sort of thing, we are still fleshing all of that out. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that it is clear from the evidence at this point that it was not something that he decided to do that day or that night. This attack was very, very unnerving, both to me, I know it's been unnerving to those who have had to investigate it, to this family, and really to the general public, that somebody would target um, a political leader's home, um, target her family, to, to really think through um, and make a conscious decision to enact violence uh, on a political leader's family, it's very scary. Uh, but what we do know is that after he entered the home, at some point he made his way upstairs uh, to Mr. Pelosi's bedroom. All, all we know at this point, um, and I believe this is contained in the federal affidavit, uh, is that he was seen by a, a witness walking to the home um, from nearby. Uh, like I said, this investigation is still ongoing. Um, right now, the only footage that I have you know, viewed myself is the uh, body camera from the officer who responded. Uh, as you've probably heard, it shows uh, the, the attack itself. Uh, well, it certainly appears that he researched the address. Um, unfortunately, uh, as public figures, our addresses are still oftentimes made available. Uh, people can look those things up online. And so unfortunately, he was able to determine what her address was. What I can tell you is we have no evidence that he brought a gun to that home. Going on. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it.